Lick number 10, B-flat groove. This one comes to us inspired by Wes Montgomery's guitar playing and has a combination of the Mixolydian sound along with a blues flavor that is great to use over dominant seventh chords. Let's take a listen to this one. All right, this lick is played over a dominant seventh chord and it's coming more out of kind of the tradition of Wes Montgomery. We're going to use elements of the minor pentatonic and the blues scale, but also the sound of the mixolydian because you can really get a nice sounding definition of the dominant chord within this lick. So I'm going to start on the tonic and I'm essentially going to come down the B flat mixolydian mode here in sixth position. So I go B flat, A flat, G, F, into E flat. Now, at this point, I'm going to go to D flat, which is going to then come into the D natural, the third of B flat seven. Where you, when you use notes like E flat and D flat to surround a chord tone, that really helps to bring a certain amount of definition to your line in relationship to the chord that you're playing over. So then I go from that D into B flat, then down to the fifth F. Then I'm going to go E flat to F into the third, which is D, and then resolve to the tonic, B flat. By really making a lot out of these uh, thirds, the, the D natural specifically with this lick, over the B flat seven chord, you can really great, get great definition over a dominant chord. So here is the entire lick played in time. One, two, three, four. Notice when I played this that I started in sixth position, I ended in fifth position to get that D down here on the A string. So get this one under your fingers, try to take it into some other keys, play it over some different dominant seventh chords. And when you're ready, come join me in the next one and we'll take a look at another great West Montgomery soul jazz lick.